vertebrates and invertebrates. There are two types of animals, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates Vertebrates are animals with backbones. They can be classified according to their features and include bony fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Bony fish Bony fish absorbs oxygen through their gills and they have wet scales. Their body temperature varies according to their surroundings. Organisms that do this are called cold-blooded. Bony fish reproduce by external fertilization and lay eggs. They are oviparous. Amphibians Amphibians usually have lungs, but they can also absorb oxygen through their moist skin. Their body temperature also varies according to their surroundings. Amphibians also reproduce by external fertilization and lay eggs. Its example is a frog. Reptiles Reptiles have lungs and dry scales. As with bony fish and amphibians, their body temperature varies according to their surroundings. However, reptiles reproduce by internal fertilization and lay eggs. Its example is a snake. Birds Birds have lungs, feather, and beaks. They can maintain their body temperature. Organisms that do this are called homeotherms. Like reptiles, birds reproduce by internal fertilization and lay eggs. Mammals Mammals have lungs and fur. Like birds, they can maintain their body temperature. Mammals reproduce by internal fertilization and they give birth to live youngs. Invertebrates Invertebrates are animals without backbone. They include annelids, nematodes, mollusks, and anthropods. Annelids Annelids are segmented worms with soft bodies. Most of the worms most of the worm's body consists of identical segments, giving it a ringed appearance. Nematodes Nematodes are tiny, thin worms without segments. Many species are free-living, but others are parasites that cause diseases. For example, hookworm. Hookworm can infect human beings. Mollusk. Mollusk usually have a broad muscular foot and may also have a shell. Example of mollusk include snails, slugs, squids and octopus anthropods anthropods are an important phylum of invertebrates 
they have a hard exoskeleton it means their skeleton is on the outside rather than on the inside they also have a segmented body it means their body has different sections they have jointed legs thank you very much